The Gorilla Arms GF10 chambered an 8.6 blackout. This thing is mean. All right, so we have a Gorilla Arms. This is an 8.6 blackout. This is a 12 inch barrel running a Q pork chop. For the first eight rounds, we're gonna be shooting the Gorilla ammunition. This is going to be 300 grain Sierra Max Keen for the first eight. And the last eight will be 342 grains of their Punisher series. So that was the 300 grain Sierra Max King. Next, we're going to do the 342 grain Punisher series by Gorilla Ammunition. So I will say with the 300 grain, I noticed, I don't know if the camera picked it up, the 300 grain Match King Sierra, it sounded quieter to me. The 342 grain was a little bit louder, you think it would be quieter, but I did notice a change in that thump to my shoulder. Um, the 300 grain felt like I was shooting a 5.56, the 342 grain felt like I was shooting a 308. So I did notice a difference, that thump too, and don't know if the camera picked it up, but the sound difference too, the thud it would make, compared to that 300 grain. Uh, I said a Q pork chop for an 8.6 blackout, 12 inch barrel. This thing is a mean thing. What's going on guys? I hope you are doing great. Today's video, man. This is probably my most exciting video that I am making um, in the last couple of years. This is probably, yeah, this was this and the whole mods thing. This is probably my most exciting videos that I have got to do, um, that I've got to actually film. What you're looking at right here is the Gorilla Arms. If you don't know Gorilla Arms is, Gorilla Ammunitions, they do have a firearms company as well. The Gorilla Arms GF-10. This is an AR-10, their GF-10. And this one is chambered in 8.6 blackout. Before we go into this video, let's go over something. If you guys have seen any of my older videos, my favorite caliber is 300 blackout. It, uh, now it might be an 8.6, maybe. And we'll go over why and maybe why not. So I'm gonna set this down. We're going to put this back on the wall. This wall comes in handy. I just talk about something, set it down and be done. We're gonna go over real quick an unboxing. This is a review video. I want. I didn't wanna do an unboxing video and a review because there ain't much in the box. I just wanna make a straight up review video on this. And I know some of you guys are getting fed up with unboxing and overviews. I'm trying to get more and more time out in the range. Guys, it's it's not like going to the range just shooting a bunch. It's going to the range, moving camera stuff up, whether I'm filming myself, whether I have someone else do it, getting different shots, different angles. It can be a lot. But we're getting more review videos, have a lot coming up. So put that back. Let's go over what came with. The Grill Arms GF10 chambered in Big Boy 8.6. Of course, my office slash gun room slash gaming room. They do have a gaming channel. I'm getting back on that. I'll leave a link down in the description up below if you guys want to check out the gaming channel, do some stream stuff. You kind of see the whole setup. This ain't a gaming channel. This is my gun channel. So let's get this as much as we can in frame. We're not going to be able to. The GF-10 came in a massive box for what it is and how long it is. We're gonna keep going up. Came in this massive vault case. And I'm not griping about the case because as much money as the GF-10 was, it should have came with a nice case. But yeah, it came with this big vault case. Um, it, I don't use it for that. This is something that, this is the case I think a Barrett comes in. I think they come in Pelicans, but it's the same size but yeah get a big boy vault case 
Good if you want to travel with this one because it has locks and everything else on it. Came with that. Let's sit this down without hitting my tripod. Okay, that's down. Obviously, you get the gun in the box. And then you get two 10 round mags. And obviously, they match it in the Cerakote that I chose is black multicam. I think they call it something else, but it's, it's multicam black. Um, two 10 round mags. Like I said, this is a AR-10 not an AR-15, so mags will be wider, your 308, 65, cream more, and 8.6. 8.6 lot like the round blackout, it fits in the same mag of the AR-10 capability. And then I run, real quick, this didn't come with it, but I run a lot of the 20 rounds um, in this. I treat this more as a, like a battle rifle type hunting rifle, but in Central North Carolina, you don't, it's, you're not limited to a 10 round magazine. I remember when I first used to start hunting on the AR, I was running 10 round mags, you don't, neat it's not part of the law but yeah i run a 20 round mag so unboxing's done don't get much but you do get a lot in this bad boy so let's go over the details of this one you'll also see the shooting clips up here and everything else the noise everything else i'll explain how i like it how i maybe don't like it everything else let's dive into it all right for all you safety nazis out there yes it has been cleared Sorry about the noise in the back, I got dogs. Um, let me take this off real quick. It's also this, did not come with it. Jesus, okay. What I get, if you see me looking down, I might be reading something on my phone. Um, so yeah, GF10, let's start. No, this is not a gram thumb thing. I know you're like, oh, you got that for gram. We'll, we'll just, I'm not gonna say tip to butt. We're gonna start from the front end to the rear end. Um, so you do get the custom billet receiver set. Actually, that's not tipped, but um, you get the Q Cherry Bomb, and this is the XL. There's a difference, it's the bigger one for your AR-10 platforms, your 308s, everything else. You get your custom receiver set. Let's see, and this is called Dark Multicam is what Grill Arms calls it on their website, but it's Black Multicam. This is a 12 inch barrel. Back that up, yeah, 12 inch barrel on here. Custom billet receiver set. Look how tight everything is too. Obviously my favorite color is black multicam, aka match the wall. Um, the Gorilla Mist was very, very sick too. It was a tough choice, but for 8.6 blackout, gotta go BCM on this one, BMC. Um, yeah, so getting sidetracked. I put the EOTech G45 magnifier on it and then the EOTech EO, EXPS, Jesus, 3-4. I cannot talk today. You get a Radian Raptor charging handle. This is the most one I probably use is Radian. Um, get your Radian safety selector here. You get a Geisley Stage 2 trigger. Obviously, you know how Geisleys are. They're really nice. Magpul grip. This is about to get replaced though. I don't like Magpul grips. I don't like the angle of this. You know, you guys know me. Reptilia is my favorite grip. Reptilia, if you guys ever watch these videos, man, best grips ever, and they're only 15 bucks. We all make the best grips on the market though. So that'll be replaced with the Reptilia. You get your Magpul MOE, I believe. And this is the only issue I will say about the firearm or one of them that I'm not a fan of. I, when I reached out, I did a custom build SBR. This was my first SBR. Like, could I have sent them one? I don't know, I didn't ask them that. But I did not like, I do not like this, the MFT minimalist stock. I am not a fan of this stock. I'm not gonna take it off though, just because it does match the whole firearm, everything else, but I don't. Like after running it, it's fine. I just think it looks goofy. Some people like it. I just think this is a goofy looking stock. That's probably my only complaint right now on the actual firearm itself. But we'll talk about one other complaint I have though. Yeah, this is just like some people like this. I know a couple of my buddies like this stock. I run uh, B5 SOP mods on every single AR type platform rifle. That is what I'm accustomed to. It's gotta be a B5 SOP mod and it's gotta be a Reptilia CQG grip. Other than that, I don't care what else I put on my firearms. But yeah, so you get this, it's just not, I don't know, it's just it's, it's a weird, look aesthetically to it so yeah that is everything pretty much i covered everything with that now let's go on to likes dislikes 
all that fun stuff. Um, likes this going back to the beginning of this video. Three iron blackout was my favorite caliber. This is probably taking it over. I also like my 556 and everything, my nine, but favorite calibers out there. This is beat 300. The only thing though about this caliber of an 8.6 blackout, and I'm gonna show you guys some ammo here in just a second. And if you guys are not familiar with it, it is a newish round. It's been out now for a couple of years. Um, I know Kevin with Q uses it a lot in South Africa to hunt with. It's a very good round. Um, the only problem is though, the price on 8.6 costs me more to buy 8.6 than it does 50 BMG. Um, it's like buying 3.38 Lapua almost. A little bit cheaper than that, but it's it's up there. It makes 308 and 6.5 like dirt cheap. That's how the price difference on 8.6. Um, I believe it's like the most, the cheapest I could find it was like 45 or $55 for a box of 20. Um, and then once you get the certain different rounds out there, the price just skyrockets to like the 68 to $80 range. It's not a, a cheap round. Um, there's a reason why behind it, obviously. But I'm hopefully, like when 3 and Blackout first came out, it was kind of pricey. And then it started trickling down a little bit. And it's probably the base price you're going to find it now. But yeah, I love the 8.6. The round is the quietest round I've shot. Um, obviously, because the grain is a heavy boy. Um, this was a 12-inch barrel. I know some people are probably going to say, why would I put an EOTech on here and a magnifier of 5X, guys? You're not going to be shooting this thousands of yards. Like this is not a thousand-yard rifle. Um, this is for me like a 300, 400 yard rifle max. That's like max. Like when I want to hunt with this though, where I go to, I'm not shooting more than 100, 150 yards. And this is plenty. Um, even with the 5X, I don't even need it with 100 yards. But obviously, even with that precise shot, put it on there. But 5X on this is plenty. 12 inch barrel is great in this caliber. I know there's other stuff out there. And I know I've seen some actual like precision rifles out there. You don't want this round though in a longer barrel length, in my opinion. Like I said, it is a slow moving round. Your 556 is traveling fast. Like it's this is a slow bullet. <laughs> like if I actually would have got my camera to do a slow-mo, um, which I could, you could have probably seen this bullet just going through. It is heavy, but it hits hard. So I'm going to put this down real quick. We'll do another little last look of it. Throw the can, I'll talk about the can real quick. So I bought a Q pork chop. I bought the longer one. I like longer cans. I could have got the shorty one, but I really didn't care. The weight's really not an issue for me. It ain't the lightest rifle, but it's lighter than any other AR I have, to be honest, that are more than 14 and a half inches. But yeah, so you could choose the um, Cherry Bomb XL, or you could choose, I think, an ASR. I'm not getting that wrong. But you had options on that, though. So I figured that I'd have the option on the stock, but they didn't. So let's put this down. I'm going to show you some of the rounds for some of you guys that are not familiar with 8.6 Blackout and kind of show you comparison. Um, I'll grab a throw if I can find one, hopefully. But I'll show you comparison how the bullets are and kind of what ammo I was using for the reviews for it. Um, another thing going about the ammo before I show you kind of what ammo I was using and stuff. Um, another complaint, I said the rifle, only complaint I have is the stock. I don't like the MFT stocks. They're ugly in my opinion. Um, that's the only complaint about the rifle. And the only other complaint I have is, like I said, is ammo, how expensive it is, and then how hard to find it is. Um, some of the places near me near Charlotte and like Boone and all that places, Charlotte has it every now and then they say, but I've never seen it. Um, I just don't see 8.6 on the shelves, which is fine. The only ammo I'm probably gonna use, they probably will make more ammo, other brands, but obviously where I got the firearm from, I bought quite a bit of Gorilla Ammunitions. I bought three different sets of their different rounds. One of the rounds I wanted, I can't remember which one it is right now, it's been out of stock for a while. Um, and I'm not seeing it in stock yet. Um, this rifle, I paid all my money, guys. This is this channel is so small, we're trying to grow it. All the money, though, I paid. Um, I believe his name is Adam at Gorilla Arms. He did give me a discount code for my next batch of ammo so to, for me to do the review. I was like, hey, man, I'm doing a review. He sent me a little discount code. Adam, I believe that's your name. I do appreciate you on the discount code. But yeah, so all the ammo is by Gorilla Ammunition. So here is your basic 
308. There's your 762 by 51 308 right here. This is your 8.6 blackout. Let's see that picks up better. There we go. Size comparisons. Even. It's kind of like doing the 5x6 ram blackout thing. Uh, we're a 308 and 65. You see how the casing is? Look at just look how big that actual bullet is itself. I mean it's it's a big boy right here. Alright, sit this 308 down. So on this round, um, and I believe I talk about it when I was actually doing the shooting sections of the video. What round was what? This one right here is a 285 grain fracturing subsonic. Let's see if this picks up. Oh my god, it did. So that's 285 grain. This is the cheapest round to buy. Don't remember the exact prices. That's a cheaper one. And then, bear with me, these rounds are tight in here. And then I got, that I was shooting, is their 300 grain Sierra Match King rounds. Here. There's your 300 grain subsonic Max King. Big, big rounds. I said 285 grounds was the lightest. I think they had a 245 or a 220, and that one was out of stock, and there's another one out of stock. And then the most rounds I picked up, this is my favorite round out of them, and this is also the most expensive as of right now, is their 340 grain Punisher series round. And I believe they have a hog round too. That was the one I really wanted. They were sold out when they come back in. I'm hopefully gonna buy some, but guys, it's like buying 300 rounds at a time is like buying a couple thousand rounds of 556 or not. It's it's a pricey bitch. Like it's expensive. So it's hard to buy this. I've probably shot 280, 300 rounds through this. Try giving you guys the best review, but for me, I like doing thousand round reviews. Guys, that's gonna be expensive and I, I don't have that kind of money. Um, but yeah, this is the 342 grain Punisher series. This is my favorite round right now that I have that I shot. The 300 was actually quieter. You'll see in the, you probably saw that, I probably played it. You gonna, so yeah, this is the 342 grain round. This is the round that like your self defense, I would guess you would say. Um, this is what stays in my 20 round mag. Just chilling. Um, but yeah, the ammo, I'm gonna get some more ammo out there. Once other companies, there is some now that make some. I'm gonna try out every round to see what's the best right now. Shooting a grill arms rifle with the grill ammunition, which is a perfect combo. Grill arms, man. I've seen them now for a little bit. Never really shot. I think I've shot one other thing of their ammo, but never owned any of their firearms or anything. And very pleased on what I got. So, guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you could, like this video, obviously if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to me already, and also hit the bell notification button down below to be notified when I upload videos. I'm trying to bring you guys weekly videos again. I know we did good for a couple of years on weekly videos. I'm trying to get back to there. Um, but guys, firearms and ammo is expensive. Um, we're a small channel. We're trying to grow it still. Um, one day if that happens, it'd be great. Maybe we can do some more content of different firearms and stuff because... I spend my own money on all this stuff. Um, this is the first time I've got a discount code, which is a very appreciative on that. But yeah, like I said, the Grill Arms, man, great rifle. Um, 8.6 is great. Just hope the ammo goes down. But guys, I appreciate all of you. And as always, y'all have a good one.